TGS TV, education and more. Good afternoon and welcome to EGS TV. I'm Madame Ibrahim and today we are on the streets of Seco where we'll be interrogating with people to share their ideas with us concerning the matters in the country. EGS TV, education and more. Alright, so we have with us here Mr. Niso Waokai who is going to share his views with us concerning the matters of the state. Mr. Niya, welcome to EGS TV. Thank you. Okay, so your, your concern about matters of the state, that is the educational system and then the sanitation problems of this country, as well as unemployment in this country. I will touch on unemployment right now. And how police are being brutalized, civilians, and the way civilians are also attacking police. We have a state that we have a government, we have state agencies, we have police, that kind of stuff, and soldiers, and armies, and whatever. So I would suggest that they show up come together and make sure this thing shouldn't happen because Ghana is a peaceful country and that thing that is happening maybe we don't have the we don't have the platform to share our views or something so but the opportunity comes like that we are pleading with the leader so that they make sure things go the way it's supposed to go so that the violence that is happening will put, they will put a stop to it so that we can have a peaceful Ghana, a peaceful Ghana so long as family so that they should take care of that. The police also do not take this thing that somebody have attacked two policemen and they have killed. So they also take the law into their own hands because we are looking after them. They are protecting us. They are there to protect us for anything that will happen to us. So I will just plead and beg them that they should also not take the law into their own hands and do things that at least will go against the civilians. Before you go, now we are facing a lot of sanitation problems in this country. So what do you think or what measures should be put in place? Oh, Ghanaian, sometimes when it comes to sanitation, the education didn't go down well with us. You know, we have a national television. You can teach more about those, about the sanitation. And secondly, there should be a law governing something that maybe as long as somebody will buy pure water and just throw the, uh, the rubber anywhere. And those that just do pure water, sometimes you can have some name on the pure water. You don't even see where the water has been manufactured from. And it's in a system. You understand? Yes, so I was, there was a time I read a book and they said they are going to ban, they are going to ban that rub, pure water rubbers and do it a plastic something. If they can do that, fine. If they can't do that, the, the pure water sellers or the pure water, those who manufacture uh, pure water, so also make sure that they will, at least, when somebody is selling, you can have something with him. After the person taking the water, you can take the rubber at the, at the same time. Or there should be a law that if you throw something somewhere that you don't deserve to put it there, you will be charged or the law will take it course. Or... They should, so they should just put a beans around the uh, market areas and maybe some places that at least when somebody eats something that is something like say you want to throw the rubbish out, you can just put it in and make sure the sanitation that the minister brought that every last Saturday of the month there will be a sanitation. I'm just pleading and urge all the Ghanaians that we should all embrace it and do it so that at least our environment will be clean because if you don't do it, you don't expect somebody to come and do it for you. And some of the things that when it's coming to rain, we are all feeling that, oh, some of our brothers who live along Riverside or Gata side, they will be affected. But they are also there that they know that the, the Gata is choked, but they don't do anything about it. So I urge all the, all the uh, dirtiness and all these things that we do, it is all, it's us who, that, who does that. No minister will come and throw rubbish somewhere. No MP, no this thing. It is we who causes it. So we all should put our hands together every Saturday, the last Saturday of the month, we should make sure we just come together, we do it. And the Zoom Lions and the, those who collect the rubbish also should be there. When we collect, we do all the cleaning, they won't come and take it. It will be there and it will also go back to the gutter again. Some of the beans are not around, so you sweep, you don't have anywhere to go and put it. And it will be there maybe a week or two, then the thing will go back to the gutter, will go back to the street again. So our edge, they should just provide more beans. To the market areas, to the areas that they see that is not clean, so that when we really clean around, we collect the rubbish, we just put it in the bin, then they will come and carry it away, so that we can also add that out. Even when we just take this rubbish from the data, they will come and collect it and they will go and dump it somewhere. So we've all heard from the people at uh, Circle, and they are pleading with everyone to be vigilant with what they do day in and day out. I'm Adama Ibrahim, EGSCB. EGS TV, education and more.